Hello friends, welcome to my channel Trite Studio. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use your laptop screen as a primary monitor for your desktop computer. My desktop monitor is out of order and that is why I have to found a way to use my laptop screen as primary screen for this desktop PC so that I can play games on this screen because this laptop does not have any dedicated graphics card. So let's see how we can do this. At first we have to install a software in our desktop computer but as our monitor is out of order we have to connect a TV or you can use a capture card to take the desktop display into your laptop screen. But if you don't have access to a capture card you can use your TV as a monitor temporarily. Just use a HDMI cable to take video output from your graphics card and insert it into a TV's HDMI port. With a capture card, you just have to insert this HDMI port from your desktop a video card into this input port of the video card, just like this. And then we have to connect this capture card into a USB port, just like this. Now to see the display output of your desktop PC, you have to use an IP camera software or you can use OBS Studio. OBS is used for streaming. So I am going to use OBS because it is already installed in my system. In OBS, you have to take a video input device, just like this, you can add a video capture device, select OK and here it is selected as USB 3 capture. Uh, there are several options, uh, you can even take your laptop camera's input from here, just select USB 3 capture and then select OK. Now you may ask if I have a capture card then why would I like to use a third party software this is because with capture card we will have input lag but with third party software we will connect our desktop with our laptop via ethernet cable and ethernet cable has enough bandwidth so that we can play games without any input lag at first we have to open a web browser and then search for space disk space desk now go to this space disk website and by the way this software is free and this video is not sponsored but these guys are doing a great help to us so kudos to them now just go down and you have to download and install space disk driver software for primary PC in your desktop computer. I have already installed this software in my desktop system because I was using my mobile screen as a secondary monitor with my desktop computer. So that was a plus for me but this may not be the case for you that is why I have shown you how you can install this software in your desktop PC even if your monitor is disabled. Now after installing server software, you have to turn on network discovery and for this you have to right click over this Wi-Fi icon and then click on open network and internet settings. Now click on Ethernet option and then from here you can select change the advanced sharing option. From here select public option and here you have to turn on network discovery because we are going to connect our desktop computer with our laptop by ethernet cable and if you don't turn on this network discovery our laptop won't detect it so that's all we have to do with our desktop computer now you can disconnect your desktop computer from your tv or from your capture card then again in your laptop computer you have to open a browser and open this space disk website then scroll down and in your laptop you have to install space disk viewer software for secondary machine you can either install it from Microsoft Store or just download directly from here and install on your laptop. Now once you install both the softwares in your desktop computer and your laptop computer, you are done. Now I am going to connect my laptop with my desktop via this Ethernet cable. One end of this cable is connected to the desktop computer motherboard and this end I will connect to my laptop motherboard. Just like this. Once we connect both the desktop and laptop via Ethernet cable, right now we can open Space Desk Viewer software from our laptop screen. And here you can see that my desktop is identified inside this Space Desk Viewer application and just click on this IP address to see the desktop screen on our laptop screen. So now we are inside our desktop screen. This is our laptop screen and this is our desktop screen. We can expand it. And to make it fully screen, just click on view and then select fully screen or you can use keyboard shortcut alter enter. Now if your desktop and laptop resolutions are different, in that case you can select display settings and change the recommended resolution from here. For my case it is okay. 
Now let me show you by playing a game. Uh, which game I can open? So the game is loaded, and this is my laptop mouse. So I am going to keep it out of the screen. This is my desktop mouse, and I can give input from my desktop keyboard also. So let me continue. So friends, here you can see the game is running smoothly on my laptop screen, and there is not any noticeable input lag. All we are doing is that we are taking our desktop output by Ethernet cable into our laptop screen. So that is it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for future updates. If you have any doubt, please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will try my best to reply you.